Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Curry News Extra interview session. So today we'll be talking about the fourth industrial revolution, convergence of blockchain, AI, and IoT. So joining us today to talk about this uh, topic is uh, Ranin Mohammed. Ranin, you are welcome to Curry News Extra. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. So Ranin will be talking about the fourth industrial revolution, uh, convergence of uh, blockchain, uh, AI, and IOT. So what can you say about it? But before we go straight to the topic, can you just give us uh, a brief about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm currently working as a blockchain consultant uh, at a car chain uh, that is based on real estate tokenization uh, based in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. And along with it, I am uh, involved in uh, architecturing and designing blockchain solutions. Uh, and, the, and selecting the best platform for the uh, blockchain product as well. Uh, I had a background from software development industry, but currently I'm involved more in consultation and architecturing of the blockchain solutions. I'm also associated with the uh, Chainlink, where as their community advocate from Middle East, as from Saudi Arabia. And along with it, I'm also uh, involved in quite a lot of different activities within the blockchain sphere and uh, educating the different um, type of like different students and on the projects as well so i'm currently involved in a lot of different activities related to blockchain itself okay interesting um so um having said that what uh, some people may be wondering what actually is the fourth industrial revolution uh convergence of uh, blockchain ai and IoT? what can you say about that just briefly yeah, for the convergence, it's actually uh, quite interesting and it's pretty ubiquitous. And uh, we know that we are uh, seeing it as uh, from a perspective of innovation, that what innovation it will bring. And also for those next generation app that will bring us toward fourth industrial revolution. Because if we are talking about uh, convergence of these frontier technologies, it will lead us towards fourth industrial revolution. So uh, as we know that when we are talking about convergence and combination of different technologies, especially those sort of uh, frontier technologies, there will be quite a lot of uh, different benefits that we will have as mankind. It will have a lot of different benefits. Along with it, we will have negative convergence as well. So this convergence is fantastic. We will have a lot of different disruptive innovations in place. It will uh, lead us to huge market shift, any uh, more uh, disruptive uh, products as well, but we have to make sure that we are dealing with uh, different uh, challenges as well. So we need to see that where we are currently in third industry revolution and how we are going to move, move towards fourth IR. So it's quite interesting to dis discuss about this topic. Okay, quite interesting to discuss uh, about this uh, interesting topic. So uh, having known what all this is all about, so what's your opinion about uh, uh, this convergence, what's your opinion? What can you say about it? Yeah, for the convergence, we see that uh, the technologies that we are talking about, like AI, IoT, and blockchain, when we combine together, uh, we will see that a lot of different products already in the market that are being you that are being using these of th these technologies in different combinations. Like some of them use blockchain and AI, blockchain and IoT like we had uh, Google DeepMind, we have um, some other products like Slock ID. So there are a lot of products that are already in market, but some of them are working on more uh, broader scope of converging, uh, convergence of all these technologies together and bring up with some uh, innovative product. So um, we have to make sure that we are dealing with, correct ch with the uh, challenges in a correct way. And we are leveraging the technology in uh, a proper way, in an aligned way. And uh, as long as we are getting the benefits, we are dealing with risk as well with associated with this convergence. Because the technologies that we are talking about, it's yet to see its mainstream adoption, like especially when we talk about blockchain. So there are a lot of quite different things that we uh, can discuss on the challenges, opportunities, and then we can see how we can lead it towards fourth industry revolution. Okay, talking about uh, leveraging the uh, this convergence, uh, 
uh, what are the opportunities? You know, it's not about talking about it, discussing it. how can it benefit the society? What are the opportunities that are bound in it, most especially this uh, pandemic period? Yeah, uh, there are actually quite huge opportunities exist, uh, not as an individual, uh, even as an organization and as a society as a whole. Because when we see these technologies individually, they are uh, getting all the attention that they deserve, like as an enabler or disruptors. But when we combine it together, the transformative effect will be multiplicative. And we know that it's going to have a lot of different uh, transformative innovations ahead with us. But when we talk about uh, the future with this convergence, uh, there will be a, uh, an era that we will have a future driven by data. Like uh, IoT will give us, uh, that will generate data for us. AI will act on the data and blockchain will record this data and do payment settlement, something like this. And when we um, apply some advanced analytics on it, so it will empower all of it. So it's going to be quite uh, fantastic for the futures. And the biggest opportunity that I see is when we have uh, like smart cities. So it's smart cities is all about revolving, like increasing and enhancing the life of uh, the, um, the quality of life for residents. So there are huge uh, opportunities exist already. And I see the biggest one as a smart cities. Okay, the biggest one being the smart city. Uh, what are the possible job opportunities that this can create for the so people in the society? You've made mention of uh, how it can impact the society. How can it create jobs and people benefit directly or indirectly from it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it will also impact the <clears throat> careers and professions as well, because whenever we talk about these robotics and AI bringing up into the picture, there are a lot of, uh, um, we see that there is a lot of fear in the people as well, that losing their jobs. There are a lot of things that we know that human will be replaced by robots as well. But it's not the uh, whole uh, true picture of the future. We have to make sure that we are uh, upskilling ourselves according to the uh, um, technology adv and uh, advancements like we can uh, align our uh, skill set along with the, uh, this convergence like we have to be involved with these sort of uh, technological uh, advancements like AI, IoT and blockchain it will give us uh, give us good benefit in terms of like developing or uh, getting involved with how the system will architect and how the systems will uh, look up for the whole convergence thing because it's going to uh, create a lot of good opportunities in terms of uh, many different things like testing and a lot of engineers that needs to be involved in it. So it's not going to uh, give us less opportunities. The opportunities area will be more enhanced in this uh, in this whole space. Okay, it's going to create more opportunity and people will be settled. So um, what can you say about, you know, people like the 5G, people are speculating about the challenges. What are the challenges uh, when it comes to blockchain and these uh, other uh, technologies, IoT and AI? So the challenges is also a uh, huge, like uh, there will be enormous challenges as well in terms of uh, the base challenges that I am just discussing right now. The first one is that the infrastructure, because infrastructure is the base that needs to be uh, tackled on. And uh, the first thing is a new and upgraded infrastructure needed because we cannot go with the legacy systems. So it should be uh, moved towards more blockchain AIT enabled systems so that we can leverage the technology as a whole, uh, the whole combination uh, as a is a more powerful and transformative effect. And along with it, there, when you talk about a combination of any sort of technology, uh, there will be a lot of things that need to be made sure for interoperability, for uh, integrations, for backward compatibility. These are some of the challenges that we are still dealing with the blockchain space. There are a lot of different discussions on block in blockchain space even, and many products that is being uh, already built to deal with this sort of um, integration, interoperability issues. But this is the main important uh, challenge that needs to be uh, addressed first and the second thing that is most important is uh, new business models because when we talk about this convergence uh, we have to make sure that our business model is supportive enough to bring up with this um, new disruptive innovations and uh, the another most important part I believe is uh, security cyber security and risk that's need to be dealt with as well because that's going to be very much very much huge focus uh, for the challenges area 
and it will for sure bring up more risk uh, when we talk about security and uh, dealing with uh, all of the risk associated with, uh, with the whole convergence things. So this is just the tip of iceberg that I have touched on and there will be more challenges individually when we see with these technologies as we are going to have transformative effect of advantages. There will be negative convergence with all of these different technologies. So all needs to be uh, um, taken care of. Okay, uh, I, I, I don't know uh, if you uh, still say something about, there are speculations that uh, these uh, new emerging technologies uh, will, will create more harm than when it comes to job, people are complaining there may be uh, job losses. Uh, what can you say about that? Yeah, there will be, as I have mentioned that uh, it's not about just losing the job, it's about uh, on ourselves as well that how we enhance our skill set as well. Because if we keep on relying on, uh, on uh, legacy, uh, with our legacy, um, you can say skill set, and we believe that as a profession, we will be um, coping up with the, with the latest technologies as well. It's not the same way. Because uh, especially for the field of technology, we see that um, there are a lot of different in, uh, enhancement as well. And uh, when we see that there will be, uh, there is, fear a bit in the people that they will be losing the jobs. Uh, it's not always the case. There will be for sure things that humans will be replaced by the robot. But I believe that uh, whenever something uh, advances in some way, there must be some another ways that uh, humans can get themselves to want, take advantage of their skill set. So most important thing is, uh, is that one should know that what are the transferable skills one, uh, one is having. It's not about you get yourself to stick on one thing and if that thing will be switched towards any robot and you will not be having any other skills that you can utilize. It's actually more about uh, knowing your correct skill set and transferable skills that you can use in another field or in another area. Okay, uh, so uh, finally, before we draw the curtain, uh, we are talking about uh, fourth industrial revolution, convergence of blockchain, AI, and IoT. So uh, what's the future like? What can you say about the future of this uh, technology? Yeah, the future is, uh, uh, it's mainly the whole thing that is we, have, we are having is uh, the data itself. And we are revolving and playing everything around data, like AI, IoT, blockchain, everything deals with data. Uh, currently, right now, when we talk about uh, the current, uh, our state is that where we are or what, where we can lead towards, like our future. Uh, currently, we are uh, at a historical juncture in, in terms of that we are not towards IR or 4 IR. We are in between in the sense that um, this industrial revolution is something that everyone will reach in phases and experience in different phases. Uh, this is something that is singularity. The singularity is not that uh, everyone will reach singularity at, uh, at a fixed time. Uh, even though there are some sort of uh, predictions and some says that it will reach by uh, the year 2045, but it's not always the case. It's upon the development and advancement that one will, ha one will have and how much experience they will have with the technology. Like maybe I have experienced uh, singularity right now. Like I, I say that we have reached singularity already and we are in fourth IR. Depending on my experience uh, and interaction with the uh, technology and with the things that I use. And maybe some other country will reach it in, in, another, in another different area. So it's something that we can say that it will be uh, reaching to us in different phases. Along with it, uh, right now I'm seeing this COVID-19 as an accelerator for these sort of uh, transformations that we see towards fourth IR, uh, because we are seeing that how uh, with this whole pandemic situation, uh, it's pushing more organization more towards uh, cloud usage and cloud computing and how they are relying in, uh, on all of these Zoom and all these video conferencing too. So uh, I believe after this, they will be putting more budget for um, these things like uh, working on the technological enhancements and also towards um, good enhanced uh, production services as well. So um, after this pandemic, the things will uh, for sure move and we already see that there are a lot of good uh, digital transformative in 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 uh, initiative that we see that uh, some organizations are taking on the basis of this uh, COVID-19. So um, these are actually all of the um, innovation accelerators, these, these technologies. 
So I see there will be uh, a huge shift from Internet of Information towards Internet of Trust when we talk about whole uh, the technological convergence. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ranim, for joining us today on Prime News Australia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Take okay. care. Okay.